Today's video comes from a request that I got off a webinar I just did about Adobe Acrobat. So we were creating forms in Adobe Acrobat and the request came in that they wanted to be able to have a form field that said something in it originally, but when you clicked in it, then that text immediately disappeared. Now Acrobat doesn't have that functionality built in, but if we use a little bit of JavaScript, we can actually make this happen pretty easily. Let's go ahead and take a look. So I have a PDF open in Acrobat Pro, and I click on my Tools menu up in the top right hand corner so I can choose to edit a form. Now what I'll do here is I'll go over to the right hand side of my screen and add a new text field, and just go ahead and click to enter it in anywhere I want on the screen. Now obviously we're going to go ahead and give this a name, uh, like name, something like that, but if I want to have original text in there and I want to have JavaScript attached to it, I click on All Properties. From here, if I click on my Options tab, you'll see that the default value box is there, and I can insert something like you know, type name here or something like that as my default text to show up in the text box. The second part is I need this to leave when I click. So on focus is the event that allows us to say, if I go into this cell, let's go ahead and change what's in there. And scrolling down in the second part, I can choose run a JavaScript. So what does the JavaScript look like? I'll bring it up here. It's a simple little snippet of code that essentially says that if the value of that text box is right now set to whatever the default value is, let's empty it out. Let's set the new value equal to nothing. You see that there at the end is equal to double quotation marks, nothing at all. So if the text is still its default value, let's replace it with nothing. And that's it. I hit OK. And from here, now when I decide to uh, allow this PDF file to be worked with by choosing to close the editing of this form, you see it says type name here, that's the default text. Nothing happens if I hover or anything, but if I click in it, now I can see that nothing is in there anymore, and now I can type my name in. So in total, what we have here is a text box with a default value, and then a little bit of an action that says, if I were to go in here and focus on this text box, then it would allow for the little bit of JavaScript to run. And the JavaScript says, test to see whether or not the value of this text box is still set to that default value. If it is, let's go ahead and make it equal to nothing. That's it for today. Be wonderful at what you do.